Right, you've just played under under 90 minutes for uh, Coast Radio side. What do you make of the day as a whole? Oh, it's cracking, isn't it? We made loads of money for the charity. Uh, I thought the game would be harder. I thought they would run away with it, but we showed good team spirit. And it took two worldy goals to get them a 2 0 lead, and I thought we could have beat them, but fitness played a key role in the actual game. But it looks like there's been loads of money made in the charity. Hopefully next year I'll be back. So how pleasing was it that the course lads did make a game of it? Well, it's very good. There's a few players there trialling to get onto the first team, and I think if they can, a few of our players could we'll give them a good, good run for our money. But they're a team at the end of the day. The fitness play, they, they, they train with each other. We played three games, so hopefully next year I'll be a bit more contest. Well, you did make some brilliant last ditch challenges, which did keep you in the game in both halves. So what did you make of your performance today? Well, yeah, I'm a centre half, so to be played at right back was a bit dull and had a few quick uh, wingers. But with the help of my teammates, they kept us through it. I just tried to work hard. And I mentioned with Stephen, um, so how pleasing was it that you did get selected for such an event? Oh, brilliant! Uh, when I first heard about it, I thought we were playing the old Terriers team, but the play uh, current Bedlam Terriers, it's, it's great. It's, Able, I'm able to test myself against good players and it's for a great cause, a match for Marbury, I hope it keeps going on year in, year out. And finally, Ryan, I know you play a bit of football outside, so what are your hopes for the forthcoming season? To get fit and then try move up the leagues. This season's all about just trying to test myself, getting a bit fitter and hopefully getting the start and, start and run into a nine local team. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.